do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human health and diseases in that we are studying topic pneumonia now when i talk about pneumonia especially it occurs in younger children the congestion of your lung or there is filling of white secretions in your alveoli that's pneumonia let's study more about it pneumonia is very common to younger children especially children below 5 years of age now it is an inflammation of your lung precisely your alveoli alveoli are nothing but bag like balloon structures which are just present at the end of the bronchi or bronchioles which help in passing of oxygen as well as carbon dioxide it's a semi permeable membrane which allow oxygen to gain entry into the tissues and removal of carbon dioxide there is a congestion in pneumonia in the alveoli region so if there is a congestion in your respiratory tract as well as your alveoli there will be difficulties in breathing that happens in younger children in pneumonia along with that the organism that is specially the causative agent of pneumonia is streptococcus pneumoniae now viral pneumonia is caused in some individual due to influenza viruses one of the most common symptoms of pneumonia would be difficulty in breathing body aches fever along with that your sputum could be greenish or yellowish in color that's a symptom of pneumonia shortness of breath unable to take walks or just walking for a shorter distance and feeling of gaspation are certain signs of pneumonia now at less frequent times there is coughs or cold seen in small children who have got pneumonia very nearly there are vaccinations available for pneumonia as a preventive vaccination nowadays and every other child or newborn individual is given those pneumonia vaccinations apart from that there are certain medications like zevamide methanoid all these medications can be treated or given to patients with pneumonia now at young individuals or adults pneumonia is rarely seen but especially in lower individuals or smaller children as their immune system is slowly and steadily developing they are more prone to pneumonia or streptococcus pneumonia pneumonia a condition which is most commonly seen in young children and rarely seen in adults but even seen 1 to 2% now it is an inflammation or you can say it's an inflammatory condition of the lung or you say it in a manner that your alveoli gets infected basically the respiratory tract gets infected and the last part the balloon like structure of the respiratory tract which allows the intake of oxygen to the cells and removal of carbon dioxide the semi permeable region alveoli is congested or filled with white secretions which makes difficulty in breathing now pneumonia is caused by the bacteria called as streptococcus pneumoniae this bacteria could be present around your atmosphere in soil in different places whenever a child is born and it goes and since the immune system of the child is slowly and steadily developing he can get prone to streptococcus pneumonia which could be normal flora of certain households or certain places 
Now, variant penolitis is commonly seen in people with pneumonia. Viral pneumonia is caused by para-influenza viruses. Now, viral pneumonia is seen in adults. Viral pneumonia is just like common flu. It is caused when your immune system is at little downfall and it comes and goes with certain period of time causing you certain symptoms. Not really heavier as it is seen in young children. Now pneumonia can be a little fatal in young children because their immune system is slowly and steadily developing. Vaccinations are available for both children and adult and vaccinations in form of preventive ones are available for children and it is given to them also. People with viral infections or viral pneumonia may have symptoms like greenish and yellowish sputum sample or they may be accompanied with fever which will be shaking and chills, especially a high amounts of fever as well as headache. Now shortness of breath with sharp stabbing in the chest is seen in children as well as adults with pneumonia. Less frequent symptoms like coughing, headache and muscle ache is seen in certain types of pneumonia. Now pneumonia can be cured with certain amended medicines and certain other preventive medicines. Pneumonia is not at all a fatal disease in adult individuals but in younger children if not taken care properly at a particular period of time it could prove fatal and by leading shortness of breath they may eventually die of congestion. Students. In this part of the chapter, what we came across was pneumonia, how it affects young children and how it affects adults in different fashion and manner. We have come across this. I hope you are clear with this concept of pneumonia. Thank you.